Starting off, I'm using my NYX High Definition Eyeshadow Primer, applying it on my lid and blending out my finger. This is going to ensure the look lasts all day and no creasing. Now using the NYX new Adorable Palette, I'm applying this mid-tone reddish-brown shade into my crease and using it as my transitional color. Blending this out well. Now I'm using the NYX Eyeshadow Base in Skin Tone, applying this cream product on the lid and into the inner tear duct and using it as a base for the shadow I'm apply on top. Now I'm just going to take this really pretty light shimmery, um, I want to say taupey kind of color and applying it on the lid using um, padding motions. Now I'm blending it out with the crease shade. And now I'm going to take this large shadow brush and apply the white shadow as my brow bone highlight. Now using a pencil brush, taking that light pretty pink color, I'm applying it in the inner tear duct and along the bottom inner rim of the eye. And now using that darker tone brown shade, um, it's pretty sheer but I'm using this color and building it into the crease to add some dimension to the look and now blending out again with that transitional color. Now taking the darkest brown shade in the palette which is a charcoal brown, I'm using a tapered blending brush and applying this right into the outer V to give extreme definition to the eye. Now to brighten this look, I'm using this brightening eyeliner pencil and applying it right into the waterline. Now I'm using that sparkly brown shade I used earlier and applying it right on the bottom outer rim of the eyelid. And to finish this look off, I'm just going to be using a brown gel liner. Winging it out just a tiny bit, keeping this look very neutral. And then I'm going to apply my false lashes, which are Demi Wispies. I'm just applying the glue to the lash band, letting it dry for about 15 seconds and applying it on my lid with tweezers. Now I'm just taking a little bit of mascara and just blending my own lashes in with the falsies and applying a nice coat on the bottom lashes to get the finished eye look. Now moving on to the face. I actually already contoured and added a little bit of highlight so I'm just going to use my fan brush to fan away any of the fallout I had from the eyeshadow look since the shadows are a tad bit powdery. And I'm using this blush by NYX which is called Orange to add some really pretty um, brightness and tangerine color to this look. I'm trying to keep it in the peachy orange family. Applying this on the apples of my cheeks. And now moving on to my lips. Now I'm applying this nude lipstick that has a little bit of a peachy coral undertone onto my lips. For anyone with thin lips, I would suggest applying some type of lip plumper underneath because what really makes this look is having nice full lips um, to really give you that pretty, pretty Valentine's Day pout. On top, I'm just going to be adding a little bit of gloss. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the finished look. It's just really pretty, really simple, and cute, and as the title lists, adorable for Valentine's Day. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and you try out this look for your V-Day. Thank y'all so much for watching and have a happy and wonderful and blessed Valentine's Day. Okay, bye!